a 4K camera on a gimbal here. It's got landing legs that fold up nice and easily. It has blades on there that are also perfect for flying it and flying fast. But the whole thing is made really well. If we look to the side here, you have a USB-C input for charging your batteries and you can take your batteries off with these slots right there. On the back, you can see what it looks like back there. It looks really sharp, it looks really nice and sleek. Now, if we power this thing on, we hold the button down and the lights will blink, indicating it needs to connect to the controller. But you can see the lights blinking all around it and it also does have a spot for an SD card right here. On the bottom, there's also some motion sensors, so it knows when it's going to be hitting the ground. It has that detection for it and uh, obstacle avoidance. It also has that on the front of the drone as well. It comes with a bunch of different accessories, uh, like this case right here. It's a really nice case with a good padding on it and everything fits just perfectly in there. You also have a spot for extra accessories. It does come with an extra battery, so you can fly even longer. It also comes with extra blades in case some of the blades do break off and they're easy to change. And it comes with the USB-C charging cables. It also has a cover for your camera. Now going onto the remote control, it's really nice. It has these so you can put your phone in and connect it through the app or you can put it up above with this phone mount on top. The antennas are on the back, giving it a really good connection to the drone. It has a stop button and a start button and a home button and it does have really nice joysticks. The screen is also really easy to read, really easy to understand, and even see even if it's bright outside. The joysticks feel really nice on your thumb, easy to maneuver the drone around, and it's really great to fly. Also, you will see that you have start and stop video over here, and also some trim on that side, and a, you can take a photo with this button right here. So all in all, it's really nice. You also have a USB-C port to charge it right there. And yeah, you can put your phone up here in case you'd rather see, in case you'd rather look at it up there or if you'd rather have it down below. So that's up to you. Looking into the app, when you get to the app, you can uh, get to the controls, you can learn how to fly. And uh, if we just go into controls here, you can see it has, it looks pretty standard for drone flying. I mean, you have your takeoff buttons and your home buttons and it's also got uh, all of the flight modes and even it's got some extra modes here like follow me modes and VR and even like different flight shots like spinning around and vortexes and all of that great stuff. You also have gesture controls you can enable and human tracking modes and even a mode where you can position it on top of like a statue or a structure and it will actually circle around that. So there's a lot to play with this. It makes it really fun to go out and get your shots and use this to capture that instead of having to control it, especially if you are a beginner. You can also set points on a map and you can make it go to those points just like that. So there's a lot of really cool ways to use this. Flying it up and this is actually a very windy day. You can see that it does capture everything you need to see. It does a pretty good job with the gimbal in the wind, but I mean, yeah, it was very windy up there. Uh, but it did fly nicely and it was easy to it was easy to take off and easy to land as well. So it's a really nice looking drone, great for beginners, great for someone that wants to get out and just get some quick shots up above. So I highly recommend this thing and thanks for watching.